Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video I will be showing you guys my perfume collection. I absolutely love perfumes and I've got lots of different ones. I've got some high-end brands but also some cheaper ones. So if you're maybe looking for a new scent or if you're just curious to see my collection then please keep on watching. And if you're new here on my channel welcome. If you love uh, beauty, fashion and lifestyle related videos then don't forget to subscribe. I'm a mom of a 10 month old baby boy and I make lots of vlogs uh, here in Turkey where I live and also beauty fashion related videos so if you like that then don't forget to subscribe and yeah let's get started with the video so I usually go for like vanilla amber kind of scents and um, I also love floral scents but I like them to be a little bit like special a little bit different and um, so you will see that in my collection so yeah let's start with the first perfume so the first perfume that I have for the longest time and it's discontinued fortunately they changed the scent which makes me so sad because it's such a classic but it's the Miss Dior Shady Eau de Parfum so as you can see I've just got the tiniest bit left and this is very floral classic very soft and feminine and I will also put all of the notes um, here on the side so you can check them out so all of the information uh, of the perfumes you can find on Fragrantica. Fragrantica this is a website where you can find all of the perfumes all of the notes and everything so um, yes if you are curious I will link the website down below okay so the main accords are fruity sweet woody patchouli earthy citrus rose warm spicy and white floral and I don't get the fruitiness like I find it more like sweet and rosy. I think lots of people will love this. Um, I will also put the notes here on the side. But I definitely get the rose and the jasmine and also the sandalwood in here. Um, yeah, such a classic perfume and like I said unfortunately they changed it. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of the new Mistyur. It's still very beautiful but... I prefer this one so yeah um, I have this one in my collection for the longest time and as you can see I'm not using it a lot anymore because I just don't want to finish it up but um, yes this is my first perfume the next perfume is from Nina Ritchie and it's called Ritchie Ritchie and I guess this is like my favorite bottle um, because it's just so cute it has like a very cute bow and um, I really love the purple as well and uh, this is kind of a heavier scent i like to wear this in the fall and winter time i think it's not very suitable for the summer and spring but that's just me um let's see the notes okay so white floral green woody fruity aromatic patchouli tuberose warm spicy rose and citrus and uh, the notes i definitely get the um uh, tuberose and i also get patchouli and also kind of the uh, rhubarb. Is that how you pronounce it? I'm sorry if I don't pronounce uh, some of these correctly. So I really love the bottle. I think this is so cute on your makeup vanity. Um, I will also add a clip in where you can see all of my perfumes together. And I find this quite a deep fragrance. Like, like I said for the fall and winter time. And like more of an evening perfume if that makes sense. Um, yeah, a little bit more heavy so if you like those kind of scents then uh, check this one out then a perfume that I have in my collection again for the longest time is Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel and um, you can see it by the packaging because it doesn't look very great anymore um, this is such a classic again like the Miss Dior Shelly this is very light and floral again. I think you can wear this in every season, like in the summer, winter. I think it's very appropriate for if you work in an office. Um, like such a nice and light scent. So the main accords are citrus, woody, patchouli, rose, fresh spicy, earthy, aromatic, white floral, vanilla and fruity. So I do get a little bit of orange, rose, jasmine and... I don't get vanilla a lot or the patchouli. 
I do think this is a fragrance that lots of people love um, because it's such a classic so um, if you want to buy like a present for someone I think you can't really go wrong with uh, Coco Mademoiselle then a perfume that is so special to me because I wore this when I met my husband and this is Pur Seduction by Victoria's Secret and this is such like a nostalgic scent to me so this is very very sweet and very fruity it is very in your face um, and i think lots of teenagers will really love this so the main accords are fruity floral and sweet and yes i do get that like it is just very sweet back in the day i was obsessed with victoria's secret and i still love their products like the body splashes but when i moved to turkey i gave them all to my sister because um, yeah, i was just looking which perfumes i'm gonna bring because I couldn't bring my whole collection so I gave them all away to her uh, but I kept this one because it is so special to me and this scent just really reminds me of that time of when I met my husband and he really loved this as well so I think lots of teenage girls will really love this it's definitely very sweet so if you're not into that you will not like this at all but yes, Purse Seduction by Victoria's Secret. So then a perfume that I really love to wear now in the summertime. And that is from Yves Roger. And that is Comme Une Evidence. And I'm probably pronouncing that uh, incorrectly. But this is such a nice like fresh floral scent for in the summer um, I don't like to wear this in the winter that much during the day after I took a shower and um, yes just a perfect summer scent I think very floral light and uh, feminine again so a white floral green rose mossy earthy fresh ozonic uh, woody patchouli and musky and um, I definitely get the rose and uh, the patchouli and um, yeah, I will describe this definitely as a white floral green scent like very fresh um, like I said perfect for the summer I think in the winter it's just a little bit too sharp that's the best way I can describe it I find it a bit too sharp in the winter but in the summer I just really love to wear this as uh, a daytime perfume um, really nice scent so then another perfume from Yves Roger is this Vanille Noir and this is so nice I love a good vanilla scent. I think I prefer this over the evidence. This is definitely more heavy vanilla. If you love that, you will love this. Okay, so this is vanilla, powdery, woody, sweet, yellow floral and citrus. Like this is vanilla in your face. So if you love that, you will love this. Um, otherwise, you will hate this. Um, it's also, yeah, powdery, definitely. This is definitely a strong perfume. Um, you don't need to overspray this at all. It's very strong. And if I spray this on in the morning, I still smell it in the evening. So definitely very strong. And yes, I just really, really love this. Oh, so good. And then another perfume that I have in my collection for the longest time. And you can definitely tell by <laughs> the bottle. But this is Guess Seductive. And the main accords are white floral, fruity, vanilla, woody, citrus, sweet amber fresh spicy powdery and balsamic and this perfume takes me back to high school i was just obsessed with this and i can definitely smell the pear and the jasmine in here and also the cashmere wood um it's kind of a like sexy scent um very appropriate for like a date night or something like that um evening perfume i think teenage girls will really love this scent um i did so yeah definitely a classic in my collection the next perfume is from jimmy Choo, and it's called illicit and this is my absolute favorite perfume at the moment and uh, definitely in my top three and um, this is just amazing like if i say amazing like Oh my god, this is so, so good. So the main accords are honey, sweet, citrus, warm, spicy, white floral, amber, woody, caramel, powdery, and floral. And this is just like you want to eat it. Like I absolutely love this. Um, it reminds me a little bit of Flower Bomb from Victor and Wolf, which I will show you in a second. So if you love uh, like black opium, flower bomb, uh, those kind of scents, you will really, really enjoy this. And I definitely smell the ginger and the bitter orange and also definitely the caramel and the amber. Like I just, oh, this is so good, you guys. Like if you're looking for a new perfume, check this out. I think this is kind of underrated. Like I don't hear a lot of people about this perfume, but 
I just I just love it so much when I spray this on in the morning I still smell it like in the evening and I think the bottle looks very classy this is amazing so if you're looking for a new perfume I would highly highly recommend this and then this has to be my favorite perfume together with Illicit so this is Victor and Rolf flower bomb and this is such a classic perfume and um, I wore this on my wedding and this just lasts the longest time this is so floral feminine girly floral patchouli white floral woody citrus powdery sweet musky warm spicy and rose and this is definitely very floral but also woody and powdery and sweet and i just think this is such an interesting uh, fragrance and i guess most of you guys uh, know this perfume because it's so famous and i really love all of the perfumes from victor and rolf i think they are just amazing and i definitely smell like the orchid the rose the patchouli and the musk in here also vanilla oh i think this is just amazing like yeah it's very very pricey uh victor and Rolf perfumes but um i think they are very worth it because they last the longest time and you just need again the tiniest bit um so very pricey but like my absolute favorite perfume in the whole wide world and then i want to show you quickly two perfumes that i got from eiffel and this this is a shop here in turkey and they have like perfume dupes and very affordable so i got the dupe for uh, dior hypnotic poison which i owned before and it was like one of my favorite scents as well very very vanilla and I get always lots of compliments when I wear this. And then I also got the dupe for La Vie et Belle from Lacombe. So the Your Hypnotic Poison main accords are vanilla, sweet, powdery, woody, white floral, floral, yellow floral, tuberose, musky and anemalic. I never heard of that before. <laughs> Um, I can definitely smell like the orange blossom, the vanilla, the sandalwood and musky like this is such an interesting perfume and again if you love like black opium, a flower bomb, uh, give this a go like it's so good and then the La Vie et Belle dupe so let's see La Vie et Belle so the main accords of La Vie et Belle are sweet vanilla fruity patchouli woody white floral powdery earthy iris and warm spicy and I can definitely smell the pear in this um, also the jasmine the vanilla and the patchouli this is again oh this reminds me a little bit of the uh, Victor and Wolf flower bomb but maybe a little bit less in your face although it's still really there and um, as you saw by my collection i love perfumes that are very in your face so yeah this was my perfume collection and um, i'm very happy with it um, some of these perfumes i have in my collection for the longest time so yeah let me know in the comments down below what's your favorite perfume i I always like to discover new uh, perfumes so yeah don't forget to leave a comment down below i would really appreciate that and uh, if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give the huge thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and i hope to see you guys very soon in one of my other videos bye